Welcome to this short video about the new Undergraduate Integrated Foundation Program from the College of Science and Engineering at the University of Edinburgh. The Integrated Foundation Program from the College of Science and Engineering opens up a route for suitably well-qualified students to gain access to many of our single honours degrees. Previously, this hasn't been possible because the university has not been able to recognise the school leaving qualifications of students from some countries. The Integrated Foundation Program gives us a mechanism by which to admit these students enabling them to enrol on degree programs in physics, mathematics, biology, chemistry and engineering and so able to join our academic community. Joining our integrated foundation program uh, at Edinburgh University will be taking three different subjects. One of these will be English, whatever your main subject is going to be. If you're a biology student, you will be taking one third of your time in biology courses and one third in chemistry as well as the English, whereas physics students will spend their time with English, physics and mathematics. One important aspect of these uh, courses is that as a member of the foundation programme you will be integrated with other students taking the same subjects. For example, in biology you will be in with a large number of other biology students from Scotland, from England, uh, from Europe and all around the world. And similarly, uh, with other subjects, you will not be differentiated, but you will be given extra support, uh, tutorials, suited to your own individual needs. Involved in planning the EAP, English for Academic Purposes, part of the Integrated Foundation Programme. In the first semester is four things. Firstly, we'll be giving the students an introduction to studying at university in Britain. Secondly, we'll be focusing on the specific vocabulary of the fields in the schools that the students will be studying in. Thirdly, we'll be focusing on ways of making their English learning more effective. Lastly, we'll be focusing on the very important skill of listening and note-taking. Listening and note-taking is, is one of the things that students find particularly tricky in their first period at university. Leaving home to study at university is a big change for all students, especially if it's undertaken in a different country and different language from your own. The university provides support and advice for all students on academic and pastoral matters through the Directors of Study system. The Director of Studies at the University of Edinburgh is a person who is in charge of, the, uh, of providing academic guidance as well as pastoral guidance to all our students. So every year when new students come in, they are allocated to one of us. We do provide academic guidance to the students and this is um, useful because this helps them to uh, choose the courses that are best suited to their interests. But it goes beyond that. We are the first port of call uh, if they have any problem during their studies and sometimes realizing that you can make a difference to to their lives it's really a very very rewarding experience although the teaching you will experience will vary from course to course there are key activities that will be common to all courses lectures are whole class meetings usually three or four a week per course we aim to make these as engaging as possible, to exercise your minds rather than simply your writing hand. 
you really get a chance to focus on the material of the course and test your own understanding of it in small group tutorials or workshops. Here, you will be working on a variety of exercises and problems related to your course material, often in small groups with other students. Members of academic staff and postgraduate tutors will be available to help you with any difficulties. Small group sessions will be provided for Foundation Program students to address any gaps in their knowledge from school study. In most of your courses, there will also be an experimental component to the teaching and learning. This is a chance for you to undertake laboratory-based investigation of topics in your course. It will give you first-hand and hands-on experience of the science you will be studying. Probably the best way to get an insight into what it would be like to study and live here in Edinburgh is to listen to the experiences of some of our international students.